So on today's menu here on A Dash of D, I'll be showing you how to make Asian-style popcorn chicken. This dish is commonly found in many bubble tea bars and makes for a great dish to share with company or pair with your favorite bubble tea drinks. So let's get started. We will start off by making our marinade for our chicken. So here I have some sesame oil, marin, soy sauce, white pepper, salt, Chinese five spice, cinnamon, and brown sugar. And we're going to start off here by mixing our ingredients into a small bowl. And don't worry guys, I'll be sure to leave the exact measurements and recipe in the description box below. Next, I'm grating in some garlic and some ginger into the marinade and stir once again. Then we'll be dicing up our chicken into about 1 inch pieces. Here I have about a pound and a half of thigh meat. You can also use chicken breast if you like, but thigh meat tends to be much more tender than breast meat. Next I'm pouring the marinade over the chicken and let it set in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I have here some fresh Thai basil leaves, which we'll be frying beforehand. This is optional, but using Thai basil leaves gives everything a nice aroma after frying and makes a nice garnish when serving. So I'm just picking off about 7 to 10 leaves and make sure to dry them well in a paper towel before frying them in the oil. So after your chicken is done marinating, whip up 2 eggs and yes, no eggshells please, and mix it in with the chicken meat. For the batter, I'm using sweet potato flour, which will make your chicken nice and crispy, but cornstarch or tempura flour works just as well. So I'm simply coating each piece of chicken with the potato flour and setting them aside. And now we're ready for frying. So with your frying oil of choice, here I'm using vegetable oil. On medium heat, I'm starting off by frying my basil leaves. Make sure your oil is heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit before frying. And be careful when frying basil leaves because the oil may spit back at you. So just gradually drop in your leaves into the oil. Fry the basil leaves for 3-4 to four minutes or until they become crispy and then take them out of the oil. And I like to place it into a bowl lined with a paper towel to get rid of any excess oil. Next, we're dropping about 7-10 to pieces of chicken and fry until golden brown between 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat. Make sure to not overcrowd your pot to avoid losing the temperature of the oil. And again, once the chicken is cooked, place the chicken over a plate lined with a paper towel to drain out any excess oil and continue cooking the rest of your chicken. Now in a small pot, I'm going to toast the seasoning that we'll be sprinkling over our popcorn chicken. So here I'm adding a dash of white pepper, cinnamon, Chinese five spice, and some salt. Toast everything on low heat for just 2-3 to three minutes, and toasting the spices will bring out the flavors and make everything aromatic. Last, just simply sprinkle the spices over the chicken and this dish is ready to serve. Now I like to serve popcorn chicken with a side of sweet and sour sauce, but that's up to you. And garnish with our crispy basil leaves and we are done. This dish is really simple and easy to make, so I hope you guys give this a try. Pair this with some bubble tea and you got yourself a tasty treat that you and your friends will love. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until next time, thanks for watching A Dash of Tea.